All right, guys, we're halfway through the year. Most likely what you've been doing might not be producing the best results. And if they haven't been, I want you to scrap what you've been doing altogether. Focus on these three areas because this is what's proven to work for us and our clients. We've got a lot of experience doing this, almost eight and a half years. And this type of strategy is what works best for the last five years of it. It's gonna produce the fastest results, but it is gonna require a little bit more effort. It's not gonna be as easy as just like buy a list, send a bunch of emails, and now you got a bunch of business. Step number one is going to be create content and distribute it on relevant platforms. It seems very general, but this is what you have to do. And I'm gonna keep it very simple and very quick for the sake of this video. Number one, create written content consistently every month. Number two, create video content consistently every month. Now it does not have to be 10 minute, five minute long videos every month, multiple times a month. You need a couple of staple videos, pillar videos, and then shorter content to push out on the platforms. The video cannot just live on YouTube and go on your website. You have to push this out, same with your written content. So get very creative, work with an agency like Manufacturing Tribe to do it all for you. If you got the team internally, create the content calendar and the strategy. I wanna do two articles a month, four articles a month. I wanna do two to six videos a month. They can be short, 30 second, 60 second, vertical format videos for social. Have them all hosted on YouTube, push them out through your website and distribute it through email marketing and everything in between. Trade shows, have videos playing, have articles, all that. You have to create content, distribute it on every single platform you can imagine. So that's gonna be your website, email, publications, trade shows, and social. Don't forget about social. LinkedIn is so powerful. And if you are not dominating in that space, you have to stop everything you're doing and focus 1 million percent of your energy on LinkedIn because you will see massive results. Number two is going to be build a prospect list, a lead list, and hit them in all the ways possible. Use zoominfo.com. We use them. Our clients use them. They have the cleanest, best data. You can buy lists through trade shows that you're exhibiting at of the attendees that are coming, but you have to build a list, understand who you're going after. If you don't have the contact information, if your boss is saying, I'm not spending money on Zoom Info, then you have to go old school and start to farm that information. Use LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, build a list based on industry, company size, geographic location, job function, job title, years at the business, management level, all that stuff to get your initial list of like, this is who I'm going after. Then once you have that, you have to try and get their email address. I'm sure you can get their phone number from the company directory and you have to hit them in multiple methods. What do I mean by that? You, I want you ideally to be email marketing them. I want somebody from your team calling them on a regular basis, making hundreds of phone calls a week. Tell your sales team, you gotta jump on the phone. Are they gonna pick up the phone most of the time? No, they're not. Are they gonna return the call when you leave a voicemail? No, they're not. But you're trying to say, bring awareness around the email that I sent. You send them an email, you pick up the phone and call them. You send them a connection request on LinkedIn. You then send them a message on LinkedIn a couple of days later, showing them a piece of content you produce that could be valuable to them. It all works together. You've already done the content, you're distributing it. Now you wanna go aggressively after a specific group of people. You want to go and poke them on LinkedIn, send them a message, send them the content through email, messages through LinkedIn with the content, trying to provide value, don't try and sell yet. You just wanna go in and provide as much value as possible to say, hey, we're in this space, here's a piece of content that's valuable to you, and they will connect the dots and ideally come back to you and say, hey, we, need, we have a need for that. If they don't, a couple weeks later, you hit them again with another piece of content, they still haven't come knocking on your door for your business, then you go and say, hey, if you ever have a need for this thing that we do, this industrial service we offer, machining parts, robotics integration, whatever it is, if you ever, ever have a need for it, let me know we are the leader in the space for X, Y, and Z reasons, short and to the point. But you have to first build that list and then go after them aggressively. You can also do cold mail, physical mail, snail mail, direct mail, whatever you wanna call it, send them postcards, send them a brochure, do cold visits, have your salespeople put pins on a map and say, this is where my prospects are, fly there, drive around the area, do cold visits. If you know they're gonna go at trade shows and you don't wanna exhibit at the trade show, go and walk the trade show. You don't wanna sell and solicit too much because the trade shows hate that, but you can at least have general conversations, walking by, talking to the salespeople, asking them questions, see if there's somebody from engineering there and just get some general consensus of, do they have a need for what it is that you're selling? But you have to get out there in all the different methods to try and get in front of them and bring noise and attention around your brand and the solutions that you offer. Step number three is gonna be measure the data and pivot based on those results. Look at how successful is the calls, the emails, the cold visits, the trade shows, the LinkedIn messages, and then measure all of those results and then make small micro pivots. If you're doing a bunch of phone calls and the data isn't clean and you're getting a lot of wrong numbers, no answers, then you need to invest some money and get clean data. If you're leaving voicemails, nobody's responding, you've done it for a few months, 
then adjust that, reduce it, and only call people that have opened emails, click on links to your website, things like that. If you've got some money for running ads, then you need to retarget those people from the website with a simple retargeting ad. But it's all about taking the data, learning from where are my deals coming from, what's the source of my revenue. I've got 50 deals in the pipeline, where did all that come from? Is it websites, social, videos, trade shows? What is the mix of that? then make adjustments on where you wanna focus your attention based on that data, and then measure it again. It's a continuation of a process where you have to test something, measure the results, make a pivot, rinse and repeat. If you're not doing that, then you're gonna be stuck, and too oftentimes industrial manufacturing companies get stuck in one way of doing it because that's what traditionally has worked. Now it doesn't work anymore. They need to scrap that and start something fresh. Hopefully you guys got value out of this content. If you did, share it with somebody that you know. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel where I have over 600 videos talking about industrial sales and industrial marketing. If you like listening to podcasts, check out Technical Sales and Marketing with me on every major podcast platform. If you want more video content in a feed, go over to LinkedIn, hit that follow button. We produce about three to four posts a day. You'll get some behind the scenes content, small little bite-sized pieces of information that will provide you with value, and we will see you on the next one.